you very much. Those of you, those of you who are recording, um, let's try as much as possible to put our phones on silent, and then also let's be mindful of our movement in order not to cross the cameras. Okay, so let's start. Um, good evening once again, um, colleagues. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, head coach of the Black Stars, Otoado, is here, coach. Um, the media is ready for you. Tomorrow we have a big game against um, Sudan. You started training on Monday. Um, today you have a full house. All your 25 players have arrived for the game. First of all, tell us about uh, your impressions so far before we take the questions. Yeah. Um, good afternoon or good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, I think um, yeah. So far, we had some good training sessions. Um, surely, um, we had some some injuries, some some sicknesses of players where we had to replace players, and I'm happy that um, those who we called um, could could follow up and come quick as as quick as possible. So they're all there now, and uh, yesterday we had a good session, and um, yeah, hopefully today as well. Um, keeps me thinking positive about the game. I'm looking forward to the game um, to yeah, change things around. Um, and um, yeah, happy that uh, we made it, or the GFA made it happen, that we could play in Accra. OK, colleagues, um, time for your questions. OK, Jojo. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is John Simpson. I'm a friend of mine. Coach, uh, I know you are aware of the records that uh, Sudan have never won in Ghana, not three, not three in Ghana before. Just like Angola. Angola came to break up this. So I hope uh, you can show us that you will know, not have that negative experience tomorrow. Now, the final question, the second of the final. Um, Was it a no, question? No, it's not a question. <laughs> can you the, assure us that? Uh, well, my final question. The first one can was, you assure us that? What, what I'm glad to be, I'm winning for the first time. Proud to not join or winning in Ghana. Sudan is not going to repeat that because they are also yet to win or draw in Ghana. Now, the final question, the second one, of course. You have a team. And then look up that statistic. And he is looked at for possibly at least one goal since our second stint with the blaster. Uh, are you able to you know solve that that uh, whoever keeps the, the post or will not let him kill the post? Okay, the first question, I think there's no assurance for anything in life. Um, um, we always have to thank God and to pray that we are still alive. Um, and I'm praying and I'm thankful that I'm healthy. There's, tomorrow I can be gone, you know? So <laughs> there's no assurance for anything in life. But there's a high probability, I think, that we win. And it comes with preparation. It comes with uh, consciousness. And um, so I'm very, very, for me, even when I was playing, my, I mean, to get success, it's always on the way on the other side of fear, you know? So I don't, I fear God, but that's it, you know? And uh, for me, I'm, I'm fearless. And if our players will get or have this attitude and show the passion and they will be fearless, then I'm very, very sure that the probability is high, very high that we win. Nevertheless, and this is also, I think, why we love football. In football, anything can happen. Um, I, I've played so many games also as a player and I said it before, we played with Borussia Dortmund, we were German champions, and then we played against the 50th regime, and then we lost. You know? So I know anything can happen, but the probability that we, we lose is very, very low, I think, if we do our homeworks, if we are concentrated, if we play together as a team. And yeah, I think um, if the players, and those are the most important um, persons, um, 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 if they fulfill and work together as a team and fulfill what our plan is and our tactics against um, Sudan. Um, the other question was what? The other question was? Um, yeah, I'm 
Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, it's way too simple to try and point out one player. Way too simple, way too simple. So I think I said it again, the, the defense always starts at the attack. And, and um, we have to learn. It's not only the way we defend, but it's also the way we finish actions. So sometimes we play around too much. And I know that sometimes the spectators, they like it, they love it. If somebody maybe can go forward, you go back, you put the ball over the, 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 the other player, and everyone will be, hey, hey, hey. But, you know, we don't go anywhere with this. You know, we have to be more straight. We have to be more um, effective. And we have to finish our actions. Because one, one thing uh, which is very, very clear, um, I strongly believe that Sudan have two chances. Um, offensive transitions and set pieces. And once we finish our action and we stand as a, with, with our block, um, um, we, don't, we won't concede a goal. And the, the pass has shown also that the goals we concede were always like counter, counter attacks or maybe set pieces. And this is what we need to avoid. Um, they're very good in this. Um, they, they're leading in their group. So it's not that we should underrate them. They're leading the World Cup group. Um, with Senegal and Togo and Dia uh, Congo in the group. So it's not like it's a cheap team. And all the statistics you're bringing up from the past, to me, really irrelevant. Irrelevant mm -hmm. because the times have changed. And you see it everywhere mm -hmm. that the so called small countries, they can beat the so called bigger countries. So um, to compare these times, maybe when I was playing or now, it's not fair. You know, it's. it's and it's for me, like I said, it's also irrelevant because we have to look forward. We have to look and see what we can do to win this game, and that's all. Muftao. Wow. Coach, ah. just a quick response. Uh, Coach, first, I want to ask um, when we lost a couple of weeks ago in Kumasi, what did the excuses have to do with the pitch? No, 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 stop. No, we, no, we, the, the, we never use it as an excuse. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we never, and I never said it was because of the pitch. We complained about the pitch Before, after yeah. uh, the Mali and Central African Republic match. And surely we were disappointed that it didn't get better when we came there. But this is maybe like from thousand details, one detail of a, of, of a reason, maybe, but it's not the reason why we lost. All right, because yeah. we understand that you enjoy that free-flowing type of football, so you need a good pitch. The question is, do you think the across the field, the pitch over there is good enough to suit the kind of system you want to deploy tomorrow? And also, uh, there's been this popular video circulated uh, where the president of the Ghana Football Association was giving the players a major achievement. I don't know your take on that, but have you had any issues with commitment from these players in both teams as a coach? Thank you. Okay, so um, for us, to be honest, the most important thing is to, to have water on the pitch so that the ball can go fast. And um, surely, I mean, even if we don't want to, to be, so number one now, we have one point, so we need to play forward. There's no way we can not play football. And the, the second thing, and I said it when I started my job, um, and I think we're doing it, we're playing good football, but surely we have to be successful. And um, yeah, we have to improve in that. We have to, um, if we see the last match especially, we have to show much more passion, especially also against the ball. So it's, I mean, to play good football is one part, but there's another part is how we defend, how we show passion against the ball, how we uh, um, press, how we are aggressive against the ball, how we coach each other, how we push each other. And there, there's lots of space for improvement. Um, the pitch is okay. Um, surely it could be better, but um, it's much, much better than the last time when we trained here. Uh, of course, you're going to call this my name because I'm not sports. Uh, Coach, you said that the father of our football, the president of the FA, your name was mentioned as well as some of the jobs which were placed by how have you taken it and your team? Because after everything, the back stops with you. 
psychologically, have you as, as a coach, I mean, to have an interaction with the playing body in terms of how the jobs came? And number two, will you be missing the services of your prima donors who are not coming, the Thomas Patil, the Oscars, and maybe a pencil? How are you thinking? Because you are losing these players, and after 24 or 48 hours, these jobs came. Will it be something that, will, that is going to demoralize you as human? As I know you too. Or it's rather going to give you a wake up. It's going to be a wake up call for the duty. Thank you. Okay, the first question um, was what again? You know, I'm very sorry, I'm getting old, you know. This, yeah. What was the first question? What? Ah, yeah, present. Yeah. So I think this is like the first time maybe it was recorded. Um, but, you know, in this job, pressure is, is one of the principles, you know. Don't, it's not a new situation for me. So the, it was the same when, let's say, I came here the first time and we played against Nigeria. So they also the president had a talk because it was a crucial situation if we could qualify for the World Cup or not. The same thing happened when we played before Mali, you know, so sometimes it's, 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 it's good um, and we, I understand the situation is very, very crucial and um, so sometimes it's also good if somebody comes and steps up to, to back up my words, you know, and I'm also talking to the, to the players, my staff is quite talking to the players, to the importance of the game and um, so we always try to push each other and I uh, think it was a good talk and uh, hopefully it woke everyone up to show the passion which is needed on the field to, to win this game. In the absence of uh, um, Yeah, we always not happy if, if player which we called are not there, but um, uh, to be honest, I don't use too much time to think about that. We are looking forward, so we are looking for, for what we can do, what we can influence. I can't influence if somebody's sick or injured or whatsoever. And um, we are happy that our replacements came in time and uh, they're here to help us and um, this is what we're looking at. But, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for the guys. I wish them a speed recovery and that's it. Uh, coach, the question clearly has to do with what sort of reaction are you expecting from your boys tomorrow? Because we are the first two games. Ghana have got just one point. And uh, you've been a player, you've sat at a position where the boys were seated when the president was speaking. As a player, when things like this are said to you, how do you receive it? And talk, what sort of reaction do you think it brings psychologically to the boys? I think they're, they're all professionals. Um, surely it's not an easy situation, but I think with time in the game, with um, with um, yeah, a good transition on the pitch of the plan, um, confidence will come and um, and it will help us to, to win the game. And, um, and we are trying to prepare the guys, um, the boys, as best as possible. And the more we know what will what will happen, the more we we know about the solution and we concentrate and we focus on our solutions during the match. The more easier it will be um, for each and every player to to uh, um, fulfill his uh, performance. And um, I hope that everybody listens well and everybody um, um, is focusing on this game, on his job, um, defensively but also offensively. And um, if we do that, and even try to be positive and confident, even if mistakes happen, this, and mistakes will happen, we will create chances maybe where we don't score, like in Angola, but we have to push each other again and again and again, and then at the end, I'm very, very sure we will be rewarded. All right. All right. Um, Francis, I you said citizen, guy sports. All right, so I want to ask Thomas Pate, some of the this particular game. He is the architect of your double pivot system, the 4 3 2 the 4 2 3 1 system, and of course, Thomas Patrick has such a very best sort of ability, but he's not going to play this particular game. I want to know does that distort your system ahead of the game tomorrow? And if it does, what are you doing using as maybe an improvisation for that particular combinator? 
Yeah, I can't tell you what we're going to do, um, but um, surely it's, these kind of situations happen in football. And um, football is a team sport. They don't, I mean, each team has key players, that's true, but we don't rely on one, one player. And um, surely, sometimes, me as a coach, I have to rethink, but this is, this is my job. Um, and and uh, we have different solutions, which, which how we could play. And um, I, uh, we as a staff, we discussed it, and I chose one at the end, and uh, I'm very, very sure it will work. And um, we are not thinking too much about the players who are not here. It's more about the players which are here, their qualities, and how we can um, install them to perform their best performance and to help the team to win. Gentlemen, we don't have much time, so please let's make our questions um, brief. My name is Dr. Sage. I work with the Ghana And lady. Coach, in place of your absentee captain, that's Thomas Fati, who will be the captain for the team and how has he been prepared for the job? As we have heard, I mean, recent times, the former captain, Stephen Athea, talking about the fact that this particular team lacks leadership. Thank you. Um, yeah, Kudos will, will lead the team. Um, I think we I said it before, I don't know, I'm not quite sure if that he will be the, is the second captain. And um, so for this reason, he will have the captaincy. And for us, and I think, I don't know if I said it before, but it's about leadership and responsibility. It's not about having the captain uh, see, it's about all the players. And sometimes, and this will take time, I know for sure. But uh, me having the comparison, let's say from, let's say Europe or Germany and and uh, uh, Ghana, especially, um, I think there are a lot of things we can change. And I know traditionally this is good off the pitch. You know we have like a lot of respect, especially for elder players. But on the field, everybody's equal, and um, we have to get to. I think. And this is, should be the evolution that we get to a point where, I don't know, um, Ibrahim Osman, 18, can tell uh, Inyaki Williams to do more, to push him to, in a positive way, not in a negative way. Where, what are you doing? So, like, come on, you can do more. Come on, Inyaki, do more. To address something on him. To we have to get there that no matter what age you are or um, how old that you can criticize another player, even if he's older, and, but also the understanding from the elder player to take it, you know, to, to push it. And if you are demanding, it brings pressure on yourself because you can't just talk and demand something from somebody while you're not working yourself. So this will elevate the whole team up to another level. And with this passion, even you can just win games. Even maybe you, you're not playing a good football or whatever, but with passion and with uh, willingness to win and to the aggressiveness in the duels, a lot of things can be changed during the game. How many people do we have in the queue, please? Three? Okay. Let's, let's be brief. Let's be brief because it's almost time for training. Thank you. My name is Ivan from EIB. Within the speech of one month, we've seen a magical shift in our city in the country. Within the speech of one month from the last time we've stayed, we've had or we've seen magical faces in our stadiums, including this one. I want you to speak for the general game and who loves football. What message do you have for all of us with regards to maintaining and improving You can only talk about Accra because that's what you can see. Yeah. I mean, you don't know I don't know what's, what, was, what has been done. I can just talk about Accra because uh, we are obviously we're here and they did well. Um, and. It's difficult to me for me to talk about things which I can't influence. You know, we can just sometimes address things, but it's not in my hands to renovate or not to renovate or whatever. Um, I'm happy, like um, like I said before, that we can play this match here. And I think um, the national team hasn't been playing here for a long time, and I'm happy that we're here, that we're at home, that uh, hopefully we get the support from all the spectators. And even sometimes during the game, things can go bad. You know? Like, uh, let's say the first half against Central African Republic, we were 2-1 two one down. Two one down. And Kumasi was still supporting us. And this is what I hope, because we need the support. Um, we have a lot of young players. And we need the support, the full support of, of the, the whole Ghana to win this match.
Oh, is it Kenny? So maybe the second question um, um, first. Um, everybody is ready. Surely we have some few issues here and there, but the medical department has been working day and night uh, to get everyone ready. And today everybody's training. So I, I hope that everybody will be ready for to, uh, tomorrow. And the first question. Yeah, yeah, OK. It's, I mean. The danger sometimes in leading is, and we had a lot of ball possession, so it was a little bit, yeah. I mean, these are the danger parts of football. Sometimes you have a lot of ball possession, and the, the whites, even while you're leading, the, the opponent is standing, staying behind. And we were a little bit, um, is it lethargic? Yeah, lethargic, and we didn't show enough passion. And this is. I hope that all the players learn about from, from it and, um, and, and me, I have to, you know, there's so many things which I have to think about, but this is also one of the things surely I will address, um, that um, we show the passion and, and um, also the, the, yes, I call it defensive discipline um, to, to be ready for everything. And um, um, there were lots of scenes where, which we discussed also, um, when we all there at, 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 I don't know, we had a meeting two or three days ago and uh, showed them the video from, from the last clip, uh, games, and there's some things like normally we shouldn't talk about, which should be basic, and um, surely I will address that because these are basic things. If you don't have this in the game, you can always c concede a goal, and um, we have to stop this, and I hope, and I'm very, very sure actually from, from the reaction I saw from the players, the understanding that we won't see this face again of the team. I'll pick the last two. The last two. Uh, my name is Belisha from TVP. Uh, I'm going to start with a statistic that would be quite relevant to each of the keys. Uh, for the Black Stars in the year 2024, 10 matches have been played, 16 goals conceded. Eight of them have come after the 80th minute. So there is a very big question. Is it something that uh, you've been communicating to the team about and how you're looking to make sure they are switched on before 90 plus how many minutes that the referee will give? Yeah, I think um, I, I can only speak about the games where I was the head coach. Um, so it's difficult to me to take, I think, eight games. Um, it's difficult to take all the games in conclusion. I think you all saw the the games, especially the last two games, and how we considered the goals it was very, very unlucky to be honest. But you're right; it's it's a thing of concentration and this thing thing of, like I said before, pushing each other and having everyone accountable. And it's difficult for me as a coach um, to say to. to give this, these things out from the sideline. So the boys have to push themselves, they have to be ready themselves to defend every corner, um, um, even if it's in the last minute or last two minutes, um, to, ha to, to be responsible for each and every one for his, his, his part um, in, in his position. And um, this is what we need to do. We need to, need to talk to each other. We need to have everyone accountable. We need to have a certain um, defensive discipline to avoid late goals. Gentlemen, sorry we have to end it here. Um, the coach is late for training. Hopefully tomorrow after the game we shall have more time to address the outcome of the, of the, of the game. The first 15 minutes of the training is open. Please, let's 